Go ahead. Just hit another one and I'll look at the other side. Tell me when you're ready. You're good. Come on over. All right, so we're gonna check out this. Number one, your setup looks good. Swing direction looks good. We're cool there. I, I mean, that's the best I've seen your backswing. I'd like to see your shoulder get under a little bit more, knees up a little bit more. Okay. And then when you come down, you see that right there? You're mm -hmm. squatting down, mm -hmm. okay, before you're turning, okay? So the thing is, is when we went into the indoor plates, what did they say? The, you need what? vertical forces first, or you need what? Horizontal, or do you need what? Torque. Torque. Torque is what? Using the ground and turning, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the fact is, as you're going down, you look like you're using more vertical forces rather than actually gripping the ground before you turn, okay? So as we go, it'd be like if I put my foot here and I went this way, you remember we talked about this? Okay, and then I grip that in, that gets me to actually separate the knees, okay? So my foot goes up here and I go this way, but I leave it in the ground and do that, it actually goes into external, right? But you're just going down and you're moving into the ground, okay? And the way I can see that is that's powerful, but there's not enough turn, okay? So that's gonna actually make you do what at the bottom? Well, you're gonna jump, but you're not gonna get around enough, and that's the biggest problem we're getting into, okay? So what we wanna do is we wanna turn a little bit more here. We wanna ride around and get it. Yeah, you're getting around and riding it. Now, look at your chest, it's very square here, and you look really rounded in your back. So there, okay, so you're more like this, right? Okay, so what I wanna do is since you're in this position where your pelvis is under you, it can go back. I don't want you to come into extension. So the guys that I like to see extend up are with the driver, because we're trying to hit up on it. I wanna feel like you stay in front bend, right bend, and turn to here, inflection of the knees, and then start to extend up for you, okay? So I got guys that stay down too long, hit the ball too low, the more you're down here, the lower the ball's gonna go, and that's fine. You're playing in the wind, you play in Europe, that'd be your model. You get Rory, who's down in here and extending up, getting it up, but he's also got a round before he extends up, right? Yeah. So right now, do you hit the ball high or low? I hit the ball high. You hit the ball high, okay. So what we wanna feel like is you're staying in your front bend, so just because I flex the knees doesn't mean I come out of front bend. Got it? So we're gonna be a little bit more like that. Let's jump over there. Now what's gonna happen with your low point? Is it gonna change? Yeah, low point's gonna change. Okay. Because I'm going more here, right? Yeah, well, yeah, but I didn't say necessarily flex your knees more, did I? No, just front bend. Front bend more, okay. So when I get a, pro well, here's a problem when people try and copy my stuff, is they go into flexion and they come out of their front bend. I have a problem with that, okay, because now, what happens? I'm not turning and my arms are gonna extend, I'm gonna add loft, get the ball up too high, okay? So how about guys like Trevino who had a ball that was low? How does he do that? Most guys are going down in front bend inflection. His knee slammed up. So what did he have to do? Have a shit ton of front bend. That's why he had right lateral bend, okay? And that's why his left shoulder looks so high. So there's all these matchups. So for you, it's gonna be more of what? Less flexion in the knees, more front bend, okay? Let's do it. So feel like you have less squat. So the same thing, because we worked on something different last week, right? Which really helped you, didn't it? Yeah. Okay. So go to top freeze. Around in front bend, don't squat so much. Yep, exactly, good. Hit this one 50% speed. Up freeze, big turn, around. Good, that a boy. Was that different? That was a lot better, yeah. A lot better, good. So we're in this position, butt's tucked under you, means it's gonna go back. Up and good. Don't let that forearm rotation happen. Don't let it happen early. Okay, so we got shoulder rotation, that's forearm rotation, we have shoulder rotation. So when I see a guy go into early shoulder rotation, 
Those are the guys who, when they come back down, reconnect, okay? So I get guys who have none here. It doesn't mean that this can't be over here. It still can. That's form rotation, right? So I see you losing some of this, which means what's going to happen? Huh? Does Daniel Berger do that? Daniel Berger has a lot of form rotation, but he still has connection here, okay? He's losing the shoulder, okay? There's a, so that's forearm rotation, that's shoulder rotation. So when I see a guy move both out there, then most people wanna reconnect and do this. But there are some guys who actually still bring it back down here in turn, and they're okay. He's not one of them, yes. No, I'm not. Okay, so let's look at the transition here. So as you come in, you still, look at your shaft still shallowed out. Look at that, how much better is that? way better okay so that looks beautiful 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 now what happened to your loft it's oh, going, it's what was down. it before like 30 something actually. 30 something what, what irons up oh it's an eight iron okay. but all my lofts are high okay. but they're not that high no. okay now <clears throat> look at your left shoulder it's going going down okay now here's the difference in the models okay so if i had a guy have front bend and right bend as he turns, he could stay in impact here. And then if they kept that right bend forever and extended the knee, that left shoulder is going to look very vertical compared to a guy who was front bend and then started to come up and out of it. The shoulder is going to be a lot more horizontal, correct? They're going to be a lot more level, okay? So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to get you, that looks beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I like that you're there because you still have right bend. Good, good. That looks the best I've ever seen it. And then look at your head. Let's get that thing out of there too. Okay, okay, let's do that again. One more of those freezer, yep. Yeah, you don't know, stay one dimensional right now. Don't come, in, come up and out of that yet. Now, this is like an old man chipping. What, let me show you an old man chipping. So let's say I stay in my front bend and right bend forever. Okay? So I'm staying in my front bend and right bend forever. You can do that, okay? But I'd much rather see, after you've done this, come up and out like every tour player. So that would look more like what? Up and out, okay? Like everybody on tour, okay? Everybody who's cocky, okay? GG Swing Tips here. Thanks for watching my YouTube clip. Make sure you hit me up on Instagram and Facebook. Check out my membership site and subscribe. Thanks, you guys. You're the best.